It's Didi with Didi Loves Beauty and I'm coming in with another video. I'm just coming in with a Sephora haul and yes, Sephora sent me a 20% off coupon out of nowhere. This was not one of the traditional um, periods where they give VIB and Beauty Insider discounts. This was a random email that I got from Sephora saying, hey, we miss you, here's 20% off. So if you get emails from Sephora, make sure you are checking your emails because there is no telling. You may have a discount code sitting right in your email box and you do not even know. And you can go in and pick up items and get a discount on them just like I did. If you've been putting things in your wish list, if you have been eyeing things that's been dropping, that's been coming out, and you wanna try it out, make sure you are paying attention and you are watching your emails. I get my emails to my phone and as soon as I saw that email from Sephora, I was like, oh my goodness, I'm ordering some things today. I did not want to wait. I automatically start putting things in my cart. So I'm just coming in to you today, showing you guys what I picked up. Let me know if you have any suggestions or any hot new items that have coming out in Sephora and I'll be sure to check those out and I can review them for you. Thank you for tuning into this video. If you have not already subscribed and become a part of this beauty family, please go ahead and do that. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the haul. Like I said, I have been trying to budget and even though I went ahead and bought this as soon as they gave me this 20% off discount code, I do feel like I still did a good job because I probably would have purchased these things anyway and I wouldn't even got the discount. So I feel like this is a win-win for me. So the first thing I picked up here was this uh, Lancome, Lancome um mascara it comes with a regular mascara and then it comes with a travel size mascara as well as a little compact mirror so again i thought this was a good price it's 25 dollars. it's typically 25 dollars for um the regular size mascara by itself but then on top of that i get the additional travel size one and the compact mirror so Again, I thought this was a good deal. And typically around the holidays, Lancome does have these um, actual gift sets that you could purchase with this uh, mascara. If you have not tried it, definitely go ahead and give it a try. Um, I was recommended this actually when I was in another store and they said go ahead and try it. So I did and I've been loving it so far. I don't have any complaints um and i like it so i went ahead and picked this i actually picked up two of them i got one for myself and one for my sister so again this is a staple of mine i have used it before and i do love this mascara so if you're looking for a new mascara definitely go ahead and try that out Something else that i purchased today is completely new i've never tried it before but i have been wanting to try it so first we're going to go ahead and um, go with the makeup and then we'll end with the skincare so the first makeup item that i picked up was fenty beauty and this is the fenty beauty pro filter uh, mini instant retouch setting powder and i got it in the color honey i'm not even sure um if this is going to be you know good or not for my under eye that's what i was getting it for it's in the color honey and when i purchased this i definitely think it will work for my under eye um it looks like you know kind of a banana color to me and i wanted to pick up the mini one because again if i did not purchase the right color then it's okay i don't have to worry about returning it you know i can find some sort of way to use the product without having to return it so with all of these items i will link them down below so if you're interested in them just check the description box and you can go ahead and see how much they cost because i honestly don't remember um how much these items cost guys i have been holding on to this box for a few weeks now and i finally had the time to sit out sit down and film this video for you guys but i want to go ahead and do it so again this is the fancy product and this is one of them that i've been really interested in testing out and so then the next fancy product that i picked up was the sun stalker instant warmth bronzer and the packaging looks like this i absolutely love the fancy beauty packaging um, on all of her products i 
use the foundation I actually have a lot of her products but these are some of the new ones that I didn't have an opportunity to um, get yet but in this one I got the color mocha mommy and again it has this cute cute cover right here on the outside again I really love it I love the color and Mocha Mommy is here. And again, I'm sure most of you have already purchased this. I have not, but I have been wanting to try it. I will be using it um, as a contour bronzer. That's how I've been seeing most people use it here on YouTube. But I definitely will give you guys my thoughts on it when I use it. But I know I'm going to love it because everybody that I've watched on YouTube so far, I absolutely love the way it looks on them. So I'm really, really excited to go ahead and start using this. So those are the two items that I picked up from Fenty. Again, I picked up the re the setting powder and then the um, bronzer. I did about those. Um, the next thing I want to talk about is a Sephora collection item, and this is what it is. This is the Sephora Micro Smooth, and I've been hearing a lot of great things about this on YouTube as well. Um, just using, it's basically just a setting powder. It has just great texture and quality to it. So I wanted to try it out. I went with the color um, matte tan and then it has 40 in a circle. So I'm not sure if that has anything to do with the color as well. But um, I picked it up. I'm not sure if this is my correct color. But what I did is I went on the Sephora website and then it told me to pick um, one of my foundation shades that I typically wear. So of course the first thing you think about um, is I am in the MAC, since this is a powder, I decided to compare it to my MAC Studio Fix foundation powder, which I am a NW45. So I put that in and it said that this was the color that I should go with. So I picked it up. Again, it looks like um, it will be a good setting powder for my face. But uh, again, I'm going to have to test it out because I'm not sure. But I'm excited about using that. And then the last item that I picked up that is actually um, a makeup item is also by Sephora. And this is a Sephora collection. And this is in the color 95 electric ruby um fun fact one of my co-workers had on this color and i was like oh my gosh that lip stain is so pretty and she told me and so i said well you know what i'm gonna go ahead and get it because i already have some of the lip stains so i do like how they look on me so i definitely wanted to try this out So it is a kind of a reddish orange color. I mean, that's the best way that I can describe it. It's like a red orange color. And as it dries down, it definitely looks a little bit more orange. But the way that it looked on her and her skin tone, I was just like, oh, I have to try it. So I will let you guys know in a future video how I like it. Um, if you're not already following me on Instagram, follow me. It's Dee Dee Loves Beauty. And I'm sure I will have a makeup post of some sort with this color on in the future. So go ahead and follow all right, so now that is all of the makeup items that I purchased. Um, the next things that I purchased were skincare products. So I am forever on the hunt of, I'm trying it, right now I'm in the process of trying to get, um, you know, a daytime and a nighttime routine going on. And I still have a little bit of research to do to figure out um, what's going to work best for me in the winter time, which it is now my skin is very dry and I also have sensitive skin as well. So I definitely have to combat both of those things. I have to be careful with the products that I put on my face because I don't want to have any breakouts. Your girl is getting a bit older. So I need to make sure that I am taking care of my skin because I definitely do not want to look older than I am. And so the first item that I picked up, and this is actually uh, a best of beauty 
from Allure, an award winner, and it's by the brand Pharmacy. And this is the Makeup Melt Away Cleansing Balm. And I like that it comes with a little um, spoon or spatula so you make sure um, it won't get contaminated when you're trying to use it. But this is what the container looks like. And I got this in the 1.7 fluid ounce. It doesn't smell like much, but it is a cute, um, like minty green color. Go ahead. So it says it's a nourishing facial cleanser balm that melts away makeup and pollution residue. Um, and it's supposed to work on basically removing any type of makeup that you may have, but it leaves your skin hydrated and silky smooth. So again, I think this will be good for me because I do have dry skin and I do, and I did honestly wanted to start using a cleansing balm. Guys, this, you know what? If you are a skincare person, just forgive me right now because what my routine consists of is using a makeup wipe using a facial cleanser and a moisturizer and that's it that's my routine i don't use anything else i don't use any serums i don't use any you know melting bombs i don't use any oils well i do use one oil um but it's as a moisturizer i don't use any toners or anything like that so i am missing a lot of things in my skincare routine however i don't want to use too many um products to where my face then starts to react badly and then i have you know bad skin because i don't have acne prone skin but i do i would like to get a routine so i think this will be good for my skin and i'll let you guys know you know how that works out and this is the Tatcha Best Seller Sip. And it comes with four different products in here. Again, I thought this was the most efficient way for me to test out the products because I wasn't sure um, what I actually wanted to use by them. I just knew that I wanted to try out some of the products. And so when I try out these products, if I actually like them, then I'll go ahead and purchase the full sizes. But I think this is a go-to when you are trying to test out new products and you don't really know if you are or if it's going to work well for you or whatever the case may be if you purchase these little kits you can actually try multiple products without having to purchase the full size i know sometimes you can well a lot of places will actually let you return the products if it breaks you out but i just don't like going through the hassle of having to return stuff so i think this is a good choice for me but it comes with these four products again and i think this is a pretty good size for products in a kit it comes with the tatcha the deep cleanser and the this is a clarifying japanese loofah fruit extract for normal to oily skin and this and again all of these are best sellers in this kit it also has the Tatcha water cream. And it says it's a pore perfecting Japanese wild rose for normal to oily skin. And, then, and the other thing that it comes with is the Tatcha silk canvas. Now I know this was everywhere at one point and I know that it's really good according to some people but the silk canvas is a smoothing balm i think it works something like a a primer of some sort yeah so basically what it says is it's a velvety smoothing balm of pressed silk that primes and makes makeup last longer while keeping it out of skin helping to minimize cloth pores and breakouts so that works like a primer so i'm really excited about using that i actually have only tried two primers in the past i'm not really big on primers because to be honest i feel like what's the point um i don't really see I really just felt like I didn't see what was the point of it but I do want to try it to see if I can see a difference in my makeup application and then the last thing that it came with was this Tatcha dewy skin mist 
And with the skin mist, it also says it's for normal to dry skin, which is great for me. And it says that you can put this on your face before or after makeup. So I'm interested to test it out in both ways to see how it works for my skin and what it does to my overall makeup look. So I'm excited about using these products from Tatcha. And I will definitely keep you guys updated. I do plan on in the future of doing a daytime skin routine video as well as a nighttime skin routine video. But I'll do those videos once I have a routine in place and I'm happy with the products that I'm using. And then I'll let you guys know um, in case you have normal to dry skin or if you have... Um, sensitive skin those videos may be some videos that you want to watch that's it guys again this was not going to be a very long video i did not pick up a lot of items but again i wanted to share with you guys what i purchased again i thought it was just a awesome surprise that sephora sent me that coupon code so make sure you're checking your emails because i don't know you know if they I don't know maybe they just have some type of thing in their system where they keep track of people that purchase a lot of things and then they stop purchasing things and so then they send me that 20% off discount code so like I said before make sure you're checking your email who knows you may have skipped over a discount code I but know. thank you guys for watching this video and just keep on watching I have some things coming up I'm about to be on holiday break so I do plan to upload more frequently but again thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video bye